Hello everyone, this is the second part of the tutorial on modeling of robotic systems in ROS and RVIS. In the first part of this tutorial we explained how to create a workspace, how to create a package and how to write a simple URDF and launch files. In the second part of this tutorial we will continue with robot modeling. We will add the first joint and the first link to this robot then we will add the second joint and the second link to this robot and consequently we will modify the URDF file. Next, we will define the first joint and the first link. Let us close our RVIS. Next, we need to change the folder. Let's see where we are. Okay we need to go to robot model package and then we need to go to the URDF folder and we need to edit this file robot.urdf okay over here I need to define my joint Here is the definition of the first joint. The name of the joint is joint1. Next, we need to specify the joint type. We can have two basic joint types. The first type is the translational joint and the second one is the rotational one. The rotational one is called revolute. Next, we need to specify the parent and the child links. The parent link is our base link that's actually defined over here and the child link will be defined in the SQL. Next we need to specify the origin. The origin is located at XYZ is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.025 and we need to specify the axis. The axis is the z-axis. That is, we assume that the robot is rotated around the z-axis or vertical axis. And finally, we need to specify the limits. The limits is defined by the lower and upper bounds and the lower and upper bounds are given in radians. Here I will specify 2.2 radians or let's decrease this. Let's, for example, assume 1.2 and here minus 1.2. Okay, then we need to specify the max velocity and we need to specify max effort. Next, we need to define the first link. Here is the first link. The link name is the first link. Here we define the visual representation of our link. Let's specify the geometry. It's a cylinder with a length of 0.5 and with a radius of 0.04. Where is the origin? The origin is located at RPY00, that is no rotation, and XYZ is 0, 0, 0, 0.25. We specify the, the material and we end the visual representation and the link definition. Okay, let's save our URDF file. Let's close this particular window. Let's go back to our terminal and let's run launch the RBIS. Voila! Voila! Here it is. Here is our base link, here is our first link, and over here we have our first joint. Let's try to move our first joint. Here it is. By clicking over here you will see this window, and this is our joint state publisher GUI, that is the package that we included. Here I'm rotating the link, however you cannot see anything since everything is symmetric. Once we add the top link you will be able to see the actual rotation. 
Here, it's very instructive to see the coordinate systems. For that purpose, I will click here on Add, and I will search for TF. I will click on OK. So here are the coordinate systems. Let's expand the coordinate systems and let's expand the frames. Frames and coordinate systems are the same, are actually the different word, words for the same thing. Here I will disable everything and I will see the base link coordinate system. Here's the base link coordinate system. Here's one axis, here's the second axis, and inside you cannot see the third axis. Let's see the first link coordinate system. Aha! Uh -huh. The first link coordinate system is given over here. And now you can understand the offsets given in our URDF file. Notice what is written over here. The origin of the joint is displaced in the Z direction for 0.025. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's go back to our RVIS file. The origin is actually in the base link. And you can clearly see that our first link, that is, the joint of the first link is displaced in the Z direction for the half of the height of our cylinder. Okay. Next, we need to define the second joint and the second link. Consequently, let us first close Arvis and let's open our terminal. Over here, we need to edit again our URDF file and we need to add the second link and the second joint. First, we need to add the joint. The joint name is joint2. The type of the joint is prismatic. Prismatic is the same word and equivalent to translational. Then we need to specify the parent link. The parent link is obviously the first link since our second joint sits on the first link. The child link is the second link that's defined over here and I will explain it in a sequel. We need to specify the origin. That is, we need to specify the offset from the origin of the first joint. The offset is 0, 0, 0 0.5. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly the length of this link. That is the length of our parent link. The axis is 0, 1, 0. That is, we assume that the translation will be in the y direction and over here we specify the limits, velocities and lower and upper bounds. Okay, so that was our joint number two. Here's our second link. It's a box, width, length and height. The origin is placed at 0, 0, 0 and X, Y, and Z offsets are 0, 0, 0, 0 0.05. And here we specify the material, color, and other properties. Okay, that's our robot URDF file. Let's save this file. Let's close the window. And let's run our URDF. That is, let's start our Arvis. And voila, here's the final result. Here's our robotic system, that is our manipulator. Let's see the coordinate systems. Again, add, search for TF, and let's see what happens over here. Base link, one axis, second axis and the third axis is in the z direction let's see the first link here's the coordinate system let's see the second link here's the coordinate system let's try to move our robot i will click over here and let's first move the first joint okay we can see rotation perfect 
How about translation? Again, click over here. And we need to move joint number two. Okay, here is the translation. And let's combine rotation and translation. Perfect. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I create, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much and have a nice day.